Good morning, YouTube. It is day three, four. Okay, okay. So technically, it is day four of classroom setup. Um, yesterday, I was here setting up, but I had so many meetings in between that I don't think I would have got like good shots or um, really good footage. I was really being like I was rushing. But let me show you what. I, let me show you what I have so far. So yes, I have my birthday chart here and I just hung my wreath, my little DIY Dollar Tree wreath, just in the corner because it was a hook right there already. I did end up putting backing and border on this closet and I'm gonna have like my schedule there and like my jobs here. If I don't put jobs, I'll maybe put like core values or something there. I did end up hanging my calendar up and I put my mailbox here. So this is where I'm going to like put my little cute folders. That's where I keep like my IEP information, any important things like that. I'll keep it right there because this is going to be my personal um, locker. Then over here by my desk area. I did end up rolling, I need to tighten that up. <laughs> the screw is there, I just need to tighten it. I did end up rolling that cart over um, and putting just some empty bins as placeholders here. Um, this is where, this is gonna be like my desk. It is a small group area, but it is gonna also work as my desk. So I have my things here too. I'll probably keep sub information down there, but since I have to make copies of things, Either the copies will go here, like for math and ELA, or I would just store it in one of these closets. Maybe that won't be the sub tub, maybe that'll be something else. I just have placeholders there. And I put up my decorations here. So my hope is that this blue <laughs> won't seem as extreme once I have things there. I probably will end up putting my number line and maybe just some other cutesy decor things. I might go back to Home Goods and see um, what I can hang maybe up there, up there. And then I don't know what I'm gonna put under here. This might also be a space for core values and whatnot. So I have this big space back here. I think I will order a another rug. That way like that will be like the whole group instructional rug and then if I have a rug back here this can be like our morning meeting area and then I do have an easel I still haven't gone to storage to get my books out yet <laughs> so I don't have my books but they will live here I did hang up my alphabet third grade most likely won't need this but second grade I did have some um, kids who did need it even up to the end of the year and they're going to third grade so I'm sure someone can use this and then one did just fall but right now I'm just placing my numbers one fell through <laughs> so right now I'm just using duct tape to place them and then or whatever this is masking tape and then I'll go back up to hot glue I'm thinking up here I'm gonna put more almost like these signs like affirmations i might put those up here and then like i said hang my anchor charts um on the windows i mean i guess i could hang my anchor charts over here as well but i don't know it's kind of far back i might just hang like more cute things there in terms of my caught working hard I might, maybe I'll put it here. Cause I have like this random wall nook here. So maybe I'll put my cop working hard picture there. So that's really all I did. I was also thinking, and you guys tell me what you think. So the front row is already placed like that. But what if I move this back row over? So like it lines up in the middle so there won't be like a real aisle only because I am gonna keep the console table over there with my supplies and things on it for the kids, but I don't want someone to go get a pencil 
and there's a kid sitting right here. Like you see when this chair will be pushed out because a kid is sitting there, right? So I'm gonna have to shift it over, but I don't want to shift the front row over <laughs> because I might have to get into these closets. So I think I'm definitely just gonna shift everything over. But that is what I have so far. So now that I found my strips, they were in my tool toolbox. Surprise, surprise. But now that I found my strips and I bought some more hot glue and I have some packing tape, I can start putting some more things up. So that's what I'm going to do now. I don't think I have a meeting for the rest of the day, but at 12, I do need to call some parents back. We were doing like welcome calls for parents yesterday and reminding them about the open house and the carnival that we're gonna have on Friday. So I did get to speak to a lot of parents and my parents are lit, I love them. I can't wait to meet them. But right now I'm just gonna keep placing things around the room now that I have hot glue and really focus on emptying my containers. The black ones are empty and those clear ones, except for the one at the top is empty. So I'm really just focused on clearing those out and clearing the stuff that was in my desk at school from that small container and seeing where I wanna put that either in the closet or not. And yes. I do have this, I, I do have the um, curtains. And remind you, remind you, it's only one curtain because I had it over my door at my last school because of, for safety, they had like the windows on the side of the door. So they had to be covered for like lockdown drills and things. So it had to be covered for lockdown drills. So I think I might use, um, I don't know if I need it there this time, even if it's cute. So I might just take it home. I do have another curtain, but I don't have another ride. So I'd have to get another ride. And I don't think I wanna just like cover all of my windows. Maybe that's like a third year at this school project <laughs> where I collect things and then cover them all but then that'll be a pain if we have to move. So I don't think I'm gonna end up using that for this setup. But I do, I also was thinking about getting, not only just getting a carpet here, but what if I also get a little table? You know, just like a little Ikea table. That might be a year two or the middle of the year thing too. Just, I don't know, as another, uh, like a library edition, like if you wanted to sit over here instead. But I think I do definitely want to get a carpet. And if I can find a picture, I'll put a picture of what I, what carpet I'm talking about. It like has leaves on it, so it'll match the theme. But yeah, so let me get back to work because I do want to eat at 12. And it's already Thursday. And if open house is on Wednesday, next Wednesday, I really have to have like the bulk and majority done and cleaned away. And I'm going to also have to like recruit someone to pick me up after school one day just to get these containers out of here. Yeah. <clears throat> so let's get into it. Also, I have my monster. <sighs> Y'all feel so much better. I feel so much better. Like, I need caffeine. I don't know if y'all see my energy, but it needs to be up. So I need this caffeine. If you don't already have a wireless hot glue gun, go on Amazon right now. You know what, I'll make it easy for you. I'll put the link down below because these things are literally amazing, especially for setups like this where all my outlets are on that side of the room, but I need to glue over here. They're not even like in the back. They're all on 
the wall on this side of the room. So these are amazing for that. I will say though, like you have to charge them. If you're not using them for another hour, just put it on the charger. <laughs> just always throw it on the charger, but it is super, super, super helpful. The one green light tells me it's on, the next green light tells me when it's ready to melt, and then they'll be black when it's, or not black, um, red when it's ready to charge. So they are amazing. Okay, okay. So I did get my numbers up. You see how it's a little off? Like I wish, that's, I didn't tape my numbers before I glued them up there, I just glued them. But what I'm thinking about is, in this space right here, I can just put like one of these things and it'll look fine. And then the other side doesn't look that bad, a little off center. So yeah, there's that. I also put my voice levels up. If you saw, so I also have my voice levels up for speak up, normal, whisper, voice off. And this Bemoji, I just printed out um, last year and put magnet strips so I can change them like this. The next thing that I'm working on is I actually found this in my stash of goodies. I printed this out last summer but never ended up using it um, mostly because they're not laminated so it's just like cardstock but it's not laminated because um, the letters don't fit in the laminating sleeves for like the personal laminators. This school doesn't have a giant laminator and I don't want to go all the way up to Lakeshore. So I think I'm just going to put it up, unlaminate it, and see what happens. If it only lasts a year, it only, <laughs> it only lasts a year. And I feel like because it's paper and not like lamination, then it doesn't need hot gluing. And throughout the year, if something does fall, I'll just hot glue it. So in this classroom, we are family. I'm thinking about putting it up there. Now, obviously I won't be able to have like four rows like this. So I think I'm gonna have in this fam, or in, in this family, in this classroom, we are family. So I think I'm gonna do that. I like it though, like when it's, um, like the two different fonts are not gonna be like right on top of each other. I like when it's kind of mixed up for the classroom and family. And if I did like that, they'll be on top of each other. Hmm, I mean, not necessarily, depending on how I space it out. I'm gonna do it anyway, cause I don't have any other choice. They're big letters, unless I did in this classroom, we are family. Hmm. Or in this classroom, we are family. I don't know. I think I'm gonna do, I think I'm gonna do in this classroom or in this classroom, we are family. But looking at here, like even if I'm just doing a space like that with the word family, I don't think that's going to be, I don't think it's going to fit. Let me get the eye. See how much it takes up. Oh yeah, that takes up like almost half. So two rows it is. <laughs> so yeah, I'm going to do, in this classroom, we are family, period. So I'm just gonna tape the back. So wish me luck on that. Also, did I tell y'all I Instacarted Michaels? I got tape, I got hot glue. While I was in my meeting, which was at a whole different school, <laughs> I knew I was gonna be back here around 11, I Instacarted Michaels. Instacart, thank you for not just having grocery stores anymore. I really appreciate that. My classroom appreciates you. This video is sponsored, I'm just kidding, no. <laughs> so let me put these letters up.
Okay, so it's the end of the day. It is five o'clock. I actually went an hour early, or I'm sorry, an hour over what I was supposed to do, but I think I got a lot done. Let me show you what I have so far and what I'm thinking. So there were some books in the closet already. So there's there's like other books too, um, but more picture books. So I'm gonna wait until I get my bins to do that. But that's kind of what I'm planning on for the chapter books. She had also, whatever teacher was here before, even though she was a third grade teacher, she had a lot of like eighth grade books, high school books, like of mice and men, the Hunger Games. So I'm like, okay, I'm gonna keep those in the crate and maybe ask my assistant principal, you know, to hold on to them. But chapter books up here, other um, level books there. So here's my library. I did find more of the inspirational pictures, inspirational people's like posters. And I'm thinking of just like going up some more, maybe one more, um, I don't know. That might be too much. I'm, I might just do a quote right there because I also have to remember because I'm in third grade now, I'm gonna have to cover all this stuff that I'm hanging up. I don't want it to look plain because PSSAs aren't until April. But you know, something easy to cover. But anyway, so then I have these. When I get home, I'm gonna check if I have more of the black cardstock because when I'm thinking of for the wild work, is to just have maybe nine or 12 um, of the black sheets with the paper, what are they called? Clothes pins, so that um, for math and for reading or for whatever, they'll have the wild work posted in the middle and then it can be um, like anchors or uh, content specific words on the outside there. Like you see how I have the alphabet, so maybe this will be ELA. Um, and the numbers, maybe this will be like math words. I just hang these over here or hung these over here because their cubbies are here. I did get a third cubby. I didn't even realize it was here the whole time. So I hung these over here. These last few cubbies will probably be empty. Like I'll probably utilize this and put maybe other stuff in those cubbies. Um, and then I might just use that crate as like their lunch crate. And then if they, if I notice that more kids bring lunch every day, then I'll just get a bigger crate. I tried to just use packing tape and almost immediately <laughs> they fell. So I did end up hot gluing. Oh my goodness. So my wireless hot glue gun, which I love, it just doesn't hold a charge all day. So it died on me. So it's like, I have a hot glue gun right there. So I had to take a letter run over here hot glue it run over here hang it up run over there hot glue the next letter run over there hang it up like yes very dizzy but i think it came out so cute it's so big but it fits perfectly right there and i feel like i eyeballed that perfectly because i don't know how i did that then we have all of my junk <laughs> that i'm going to still have to weave through and put in the different um closets and up here, I just put that up, tense at that. But honestly, this will probably be all curriculum stuff, math books and things of that nature. I might just keep up there because the kids don't need to access it. It's high anyway. And then I can access, access it. I ended up putting up the caught working hard. So as you know, I have a Polaroid camera or an Instax camera. So as... Scholars are working hard. See, I'm used to still saying scholars. But as they're working hard, I might snap a picture of them and then hang it up here. And they really like that. My calendar. I ended up just putting these um, here uh, because when I opened the door, my little mailbox thing fell. So I just put that over here. And it makes sense, honestly, if this is gonna be my desk, it does kind of make sense for um, my folders with student information, um, IEP stuff, my tracker uh, copies that I just keep right there. This is what my desk area is looking like now. I have my voice levels. I did find this in the 
pack that all of my decorations came in. Just, I guess, like a short um, explanation. I mean, it says it on the numbers and I'll explain it out loud. So I just put that there. I didn't laminate it or anything, so I don't know if I wanna include that or not. Literally nothing on my to-do list is done. <laughs> but as you see, I have my numbers up here. Remember, it was like, because they were like shifted over, you could still see it a little bit. It was like irking my soul. So I did just put that wreath there, the other wreath there, and my dream catcher up on the top there. I had these numbers, I mean these colors. I didn't know what to do with them, so I just stuck them up there. Come PSSA time, maybe I'll just take them down instead of trying to cover them. Cause it'll be easy to put that back up. And then I did shift my desks over a little bit so that whoever's sitting here, if um, people have to go get pencils, then it won't be in the way. Someone was actually trashing this and my coworker um, saw it in the hallway and she thought I was trashing it, but she was like, she wanted to let me know because she knows how well this matches my colors. So I'm gonna use this for my pencils. I'll have to get labels, but I'll have um, sharp, dull, and maybe erasers right there. So I'm excited that someone gave that up <laughs> with the Apple symbol. And then I'll put my morning work right there. But yes, that is how my room is looking so far. I keep going on <laughs> Amazon to see if I can get an area rug back here. Cause I think I actually really want one back here. And this will be like our morning meeting um, section. Anytime we need to have like a conversation, a break, and then we can jot down notes on the easel. Cause I don't see me using that during teaching. So yeah, I'll look and maybe I'll just create a donor's choose with those type of items on it. And whatever I couldn't fit over here without it looking junky that used to go on my desk, I just put it in that closet over there. So yes, that's what I have so far. I like to keep it simple. Um, I used to have a lot of decorations my first couple of years. I wanted to fill the wall. I wanted no white space. But the thing about it is as students come in, their bodies fill up, fill up, their bodies fill up the room and it already looks, you know, I don't want to say congested, but with more stuff that you put around, the busier it gets. And you're only going to hang more stuff throughout the year. So you need to leave room for that. So I think it's okay. And actually my grade team lead at my other school said this, my very first year teaching, it's okay if your room looks a little plain or bare in the beginning of the school year because you fill it up later on. And I do fill up, um, I do plan on filling up some spaces that are like above the birthday doors with more of the signs like I have hanging over there because I found more. And those are things that are like simple. They are not like loud, but they still serve a purpose and it's easy to take down. So I think what we need to remember as teachers as we're setting up is less is more. And that's true, you want it to feel homey, you want it to feel comfy, but you also want it to feel calm. And you don't want students to feel overwhelmed. And maybe as the years, uh, as the year go by, goes by, or as the weeks go by, you can add more things, but I think just taking it slow. So I hope you like what I have so far. Give me a big thumbs up if you do. Like, which is the same thing. <laughs> Don't forget to subscribe. And hit that notification bell so that you are reminded the next time, or notified, notified the next time that I put up a video. And I will see you in the next one.